Hi everyone, my name is Brandy Neveldine. I'm the New York Regional Biologist for Ducks Unlimited. First off, I want to apologize for not being able to make it there in person, and I want to thank all of our volunteers for putting on such a great event, and thank all of you for showing your interest in our New York Conservation Program. Our restoration program is designed around our mission, and that is to conserve, restore, and manage wetlands and associated habitats for North American waterfowl. These habitats also benefit other wildlife and people. There have been reports of over 900 other species of wildlife utilizing wetland habitats, including over half of our threatened and endangered species. Wetlands also provide recreation opportunities, improve water quality, stabilize shorelines, and many other ecosystem services that can have significant economic impacts. For instance, in 2011, 2.6 million migratory bird hunters generated over $3.4 billion in revenue. And all that money comes back into our state to be used towards habitat conservation efforts. Since our start in 1937, DU has conserved over 13 million acres of wetlands across North America. In addition to habitat conservation, DU is also very involved in educating the public and our youth about the value of wetlands. We are also very actively involved in public policy to ensure that state and federal funding for protection and restoration remain available. Research is another important branch of DU. We are a science-based organization, so we use science to guide our conservation plans and decisions. An example of this is the American Black Duck research DU is helping to support right here in New York State, a species, as you know, that has declined dramatically over the past century. Grad students are utilizing backpack GPS transmitters to track movements of black ducks during spring migration to collect information that will help managers better understand this part of their life cycle and identify actions that could benefit the species. Because of the migratory nature of waterfowl, there are no borders when it comes to managing for these species, and thus why we have an international conservation plan for North America where all 50 states, Canada, and Mexico must work together. Each of DU's conservation regions have identified specific goals and strategies to guide our work. As you know, the Northeast is a very important location for waterfowl, supporting birds that move through the Atlantic Flyway from Canada all the way south to the coast of Florida. New York is located in the center of our Completing the Cycle initiative. The Completing the Cycle initiative is focused on ensuring that we provide the critical habitat that is necessary for waterfowl to complete their entire life cycle throughout the Atlantic Flyway. Completing the Cycle initiative supports 7.6 million breeding 4 million migrating, and 2.7 million wintering waterfowl. Our region supports over 30 species, including the vast majority of black ducks, the entire population of Atlantic Canada geese, the majority of Atlantic brant, half the wintering population of canvasbacks, and the majority of eastern mallards. New York primarily serves as migration habitat, and thus our program in New York is primarily focused on ensuring wetlands provide adequate food resources on the landscape, to sustain their energy, demanding energy requirements. Our waterfowl focus areas in New York have been identified using information from long-term banning data on where waterfowl concentrate, but we also take into consideration where we have seen the most habitat loss and where we project the greatest impacts to be in the future. These include the Lake Ontario watershed, the St. Lawrence River Valley, the Finger Lakes region, Lake Champlain and Long Island Sound. These priority focus areas follow closely with those of the North American Waterfowl Management Plan, specifically the Atlantic Coast Joint Venture Priority Regions. So our conservation efforts in New York include both inland and coastal wetland systems. In our inland marshes, we are focusing on restoring historic wetland habitat that has been drained or hydrologically altered, such as agricultural land, and returning it back to its original wetland state. These projects typically involve the installation of berms, and water control structures to restore a more natural water level regime. We work closely with our engineers to design these types of projects. Our engineers conduct extensive surveys of all of our project sites, taking into account hydrology, topography, and soil characteristics. It is this bioengineering team that is crucial to the success and long-term sustainability of our projects. These in inland impoundments do often require intensive management to draw down water, for instance, at specific times of the year in order to mimic a natural wetland system. And this is where our partners come in. By working with state and federal agencies, we are ensuring our projects have long-term management. We are also able to work in large wetland complexes that are already being managed by our state and federal partners, such as the Montezuma and Iroquois wetland complexes. 
This also allows us to affect large numbers of migrating waterfowl, and it meets our mission of providing valuable hunting and recreational opportunities to the public and our DU supporters. An example of one of these projects is one that was just completed this past June at the Iroquois National Wildlife Refuge located in western New York. Iroquois is among the most important migratory stopover areas for waterfowl in western New York, supporting approximately 250,000 migrating waterfowl annually. With our partners at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, construction began on this project back in October and included removing a berm, installing new culverts, and planting trees to restore natural water flow to a thousand acres of forested wetland habitat. The Iroquois Seneca Pool Project will benefit a number of species that depend on forested wetlands, including several species of greatest conservation need and a large population of local breeding wood ducks and mallards. We have also been focusing our efforts along Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River, where we have lost 70% of our coastal wetlands, and the ones we have left are being threatened by endangered or invasive species. Artificial water level regulation in Lake Ontario has helped promote the expansion of an invasive cattail that has created monocultures with little to no diversity or open water left. In recent years, DU has been working with several different partners to develop habitat restoration techniques to help combat this problem. One of the te techniques we've been finding successful is to create these pothole complexes with connecting channels to improve hy hydrologic flow, increase open water, and improve vegetative diversity. To date, DU has delivered 1,000 acres of coastal wetland enhancements in both Lake Ontario at Lakeview Marsh and Braddock Bay, um, and also in the St. Lawrence River at French Creek and Point Vivian Marsh. This year, we have several upcoming projects in the works, including a new partnership with the New York Park Service in the Niagara River. As you may know, the Niagara River, located in Buffalo, New York, supports one of the largest concentrations of wintering waterfowl in the state. We are currently designing a project to enhance over 100 acres of emergent marsh habitat at Buckhorn Island State Park, the largest remaining marsh in the area. We have a project breaking ground this fall also at Catherine Creek Wildlife Management Area on Seneca Lake with our partners at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. We are also working at Perch River to help our state partners there restore water level management capability to over a thousand acres of emergent wetlands. In the coming year, we are also hopeful to secure a new grant to continue our work at the Montezuma Wetlands Complex, one of the most important staging areas in the Atlantic Flyway. Since our start, the New York program has completed 2,300 projects, totaling over 12,000 acres protected and approximately 46,000 acres restored, for a grand total of almost 60,000 acres conserved to date in New York State. This past year alone, in 2015, we completed 15 projects, conserved over 2,000 acres. We just closed on our fifth conservation easement this past spring up in the St. Lawrence River Valley, bringing our total to approximately 1,000 acres protected with our lands program. Last year, we were able to leverage $3.3 million towards conservation. We have accomplished a lot in New York, and we couldn't do it without our most important partner, all of you sitting here today. Without private donations as matching dollars, we would not be able to leverage federal funding to get these projects done and have such a strong program here in New York. I'm so proud to be part of an organization that is considered the national leader in wetlands conservation. DU remains true to its original mission that is as critical today as it was in 1937, when it was started right here in New York by a small group of waterfowl hunters who decided to do something about the decline in waterfowl and the habitats they depend on. Thank you again for being here, for supporting Ducks Unlimited and for supporting wetlands conservation. And please feel free to re reach out to me or any of our other New York staff with any questions you may have about our program. Thank you so much.